Hi guys, my name is Katie. Welcome to Kawaii Kate. And today I'm going to be talking about Batman vs. Superman, is it going to flop? And the answer is yes, probably. There are a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is because as soon as this film was announced, everyone was thinking the same thing. Wouldn't Superman just automatically win in a fight against Batman because he has superpowers? And then everyone who knows Batman would say, well, what if Batman had kryptonite? And Batman invented a really awesome suit that could help him take out Superman. So who would really win? And do we actually want to know the answer? It seems like even the film doesn't even want to know the answer. Batman and Superman stop fighting because they find out that they have another villain to defeat, this Doomsday character. As soon as Wonder Woman shows up, they stop. And they decide, look, we have a common enemy. Let's all three of us fight together. So how good is it going to be if in a film titled Batman vs. Superman, we don't actually get the answer to Batman vs. Superman? Another thing I'd like to point out is what they've done to Lex Luthor. I understand it's a new interpretation of these classic characters, and people are entitled to put their own spin on things. But what have you done to Lex Luthor? What have you done? First of all, you gave him hair. The only thing that anybody ever recognizes about Lex Luthor is that he is bald, and that he usually can somehow get his hands on kryptonite for some reason. Those are the only two things that distinguish Lex Luthor, and you've already taken one of them away. Also, he looks like he's 20 or 30 years younger than Batman and Superman. The entire cast for the movie looks fantastic. I'm even okay with Ben Affleck, where a lot of people are not so okay with Ben Affleck. He looks like Bruce Wayne. They all look like who they're supposed to look like, except Lex Luthor. He just seems to have this very odd, charismatic personality that doesn't seem to fit a criminal mastermind. And finally, Superman and Batman are actually best friends. If you read the comics and you watch the TV shows and you know these characters like I do, they're friends. Yes, they do disagree. Yes, they fight each other on multiple occasions, usually because of mind control or a disagreement of some sort, but they always make up in the end. They care about each other. They've saved each other on multiple occasions. Batman and Superman may disagree on each other's forms of justice, but they do respect and understand one another. And even if Batman isn't a complete member of the Justice League, he will still help Superman if he needs it, and Superman will help Batman if he needs it. I understand that, you know, the friendship has to start from somewhere, that they weren't automatically friends when they first met, but it seems like it's a bit extreme. Every time you see Batman or Superman on screen in the trailer, they look so angry with each other. They just want to tear each other limb from limb. Batman and Superman may have disagreed, but they never actually wanted to kill each other. So, yeah, that's the biggest problem I have with this film, is that they hate each other so much when the hatred doesn't really need to be there. It is true that both characters are very similar in the fact that they're very headstrong and stubborn. Superman is one of the very few people that Batman will let in, and the same thing goes for Superman. Superman only invites Wonder Woman and Batman to his cave of solitude. Batman doesn't always agree with Superman, and he doesn't always listen, but he will respect his authority some of the time <laughs> as the leader of the Justice League. They just have this connection in the TV series and the comics that, I don't know, I just, I prefer and I enjoy, and it seems very heartfelt, and then to have them fighting each other just seems wrong. I mean, I do admit that I kind of get goosebumps when I see them just glaring at each other, but I miss when they're friends and they're just mocking each other jokingly. I am still curious. I'll probably see it, but it's also probably not going to be a very good movie. I mean, I will give it credit. It is a new idea and someone's trying something different with these characters. And to be honest, I didn't see the Batman movies or the Man of Steel movie in theaters because I knew the story. Batman's parents die, and he becomes a vigilante. Superman's 
family and parents die and everything blows up and then he tries to understand his powers and be a good person. It had just been done so many times over, I didn't go see any of the movies. But I think that this is different and so surprising that most people will just go see the movie because they're curious. They're curious to understand why are they fighting? What reason is there for this? Who would win? Who gets the closest to winning before the fighting stops? So yes, it's probably going to flop, but I think most people will be glad for the ride and consider it another notch in the extensive DC comic canon. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you liked my video. Please like and subscribe below. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Tumblr. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinion on what you think the Superman vs. Batman film is going to be like. And please follow Channel Frederator. They were the ones who got me started, and they have a pretty cool channel. So feel free to check it out. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.